UFC 188, Cain Velasquez will defend his UFC heavyweight title against the interim champion Fabricio Verdum in Mexico City, Mexico. This is an amazing heavyweight matchup. He's down again! Velasquez is a warrior. Total domination by Verdum. That's it. UFC 180. UFC 180, Cain Velasquez tore his meniscus, had to pull out of the fight against Fabricio Verdum. Verdum won the interim title in Mexico City with a spectacular second round knockout of Mark Hunt. First time in Mexico, it was hard to watch that, definitely. You know, I felt like I needed to be a part of that, but I'm glad I get my chance now. That's all I want. I am so fired up for this fight. Yo estaba ahí para pelear. Yo no tengo la culpa si Caín Velasquez no estaba. Ese cinturón que tengo el mío, yo considero como el campeonato mundial. Ese cinturón verdadero, no. Y vamos a voy a demostrar esto justamente el 3 de junio. Mark Hunt es un luchador que es uno de los mejores noqueadores de, del mundo y la gente pensaba que Mark Hunt me podía noquear y yo le podía someter, pero nadie creía que yo iba a noquear a Mark Hunt. Ha pasado porque entrené mucho esto. En Fabrice Proof, for all those heavyweights, it was a complete MMA fight. Yo quiero ser uno más. Yo quiero ser el mejor del mundo. Fabrizio is a tough guy. He's a complete fighter does everything really well. We've seen this guy dominate many, many fighters once he gets him to the ground. He went down hard that time. Fabricio is a world-class Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. He's a multiple-time world champion and one of the best and most decorated Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu artists to ever compete in mixed martial arts. Oh, nice hand down out. by Verdun. Fedor jumps on him. Verdun trying to hold on to his yeah. arm, going for an arm. Nadie creía que yo podría ganarle a él porque estaba en su mejor uh, momento, 10 años sin perder, y yo uh, le gané en 69 segundos. Entonces yo creí que a lo mejor cuando están en mi guardia, yo creo que ellos piensan esto, ¿no? por eso ellos no vienen a mi guardia, no vienen en el suelo conmigo, ellos llaman, no, 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 levántate que peleamos arriba. Verdum has some of the best ground skills we've ever seen in mixed martial arts and has proven now that his striking is at the level of his ground skills. He's all over Travis Brown. Travis can't move out of the way. Travis oh, is in man. trouble. Big time. The key is, can he keep up with the pace that Cain Velasquez is going to put on him for five rounds? I think I'm better than him at everything. Kane is known for his ground and pound, his ridiculous pace, his outstanding wrestling skills, and his ability to put it all together. Kane Velasquez is also coming off of one of the most dominant performances of his career, the second win in a row over Junior Dos Santos. Wow. Kane Velasquez has shown Junior Dos Santos a whole another level of fighting. From the last fight that the, the fans have seen him, his technique is actually better now, his mentality is better, how he's gonna approach the fight. I feel like I am hitting harder. When I wrestle, I am getting stronger and more powerful. I know the guy in front of me isn't going to be as strong as me. I'm going to hit harder than him. Velasquez pouring it on! Cain Velasquez has the best cardio I have ever seen at heavyweight by far. He is a machine. When I'm fighting, I'm just going 100% for the whole fight. And I know that my body can hold up to it. This is that freak athlete that destroys everyone in the gym. I like to have that Mexican style that's Going forward, a lot of pressure. You know, very exciting fighter. They're very tough. They don't back down. This is a mall. Yo creo que Kevin Velasquez es un luchador muy duro. Pega más constante. Tiene esa la constancia de golpes. No siempre está con mucha presión. Y eso ya sí, yo creo que un luchador muy especial. It's going to be almost two years since Kevin has fought. I think the people have forgotten how great he is, and this fight has to be a statement for Kevin Velasquez, for the fans and everybody to understand that the champ's back. Solo puede haber un campeón, y este campeón soy yo. Every fighter has a confidence going in that they will win. It's my job to show him that he can do that. Right on the button. UFC 
UFC 188 will take place in Mexico City, Mexico, and in a spectacular lightweight matchup, Gilbert Melendez, the former Strike Force champion, will face Eddie Alvarez. I feel like I've been in the sport for a long time. I've been relevant for a long time. I've been top 10 for almost 10 years. I see fighters come and go, champions win and lose and disappear, and I'm always relevant, and I, and I take pride in that. For Gilbert Melendez, this is an opportunity to first of all fight a guy in Eddie Alvarez that he has been wanting to fight for a long time. Me versus Gilbert Melendez would be the most sought after lightweight fight in the division, only because of our history. He started almost the same year I started. The fans want to see it, and Gilbert's been saying he wanted to fight me for years. So Eddie was the champ in a different organization, and I was a Strike Force champion. And you know, we're the two biggest 155 pounders outside of the UFC, and debatably ranked number one and two. You know, and I want to fight him out of respect. I think guy's tough. You know, he took it as an insult, calling him out and this and that. Yeah, Gilbert's always said he wanted to fight, but whenever we had opportunities in the past, he never took advantage of them. And he really thinks I'm gonna go to this organization just for him, you know? I'm not even worried about him. I'm worried about my bank account. I'm worried about my family. I'm worried about my future. If they would have said, do you want a title shot or would you like to fight Gilbert Melendez? And in my heart, deep down, I would say that title shot. I wanna fight Gilbert Melendez. You know, I don't know what it is with him wanting me more than a UFC belt. He thinks I have a crush on him or something. I don't know what's going on here, but uh, Eddie's not that much on my mind. I've had titles, I, I've been a champion of promotions. For me, it's about matchups. I think that's what fans want to see. There's no way I've been ducking Eddie Alvarez. There's no way I've been ducking him. I've just been looking for the right opportunity. Now we're in the same promotion. Now it's going to happen, and now he's going to get what he wants, and he's going to be sorry. Big shots! What a battle! He got rocked! Oh, big right hand! And it is all over! Both guys have very similar styles. Both guys have wrestling backgrounds. Picks him up, throws him back. But both guys are warriors. They go after it. Man, they're firing away. Good shots by Alvarez to the clinch. I feel like I'm a better mixed martial artist than Eddie. I feel like I know how to use my distance better than Eddie. And my IQ for fighting is better than Eddie. I think we both have a lot of heart. We're both in good shape. I do know he has a lot of fight, though, and it's, it's not an easy task and makes for an exciting fight. Eddie Alvarez is an outstanding athlete. His fights are highlighted by aggression. He takes lots of chances. He takes lots of risks. And he has been in some spectacular wars in his career. He may finish it here. It's all, it's all over. He's also a guy that comes back from a loss as a far better fighter and he's gonna need to do that when he faces Gilbert Melendez in Mexico City. Fighting in Mexico City is uh, somewhat of a dream come true. You know, this is the motherland, so my blood is from. You know, I'm, I'm proud to be Mexican, I'm proud of my roots. That's what Mexicans do, we hold our ground and we fight. I'd rather go down on my shield than run in circles. When I told some fans that I thought that they would boo me out because I'm fighting a Mexican, I had fans tell me Gilbert's a fake Mexican. He's not from Mexico City, he's not from there. It feels good and to have an opportunity to represent in front of all the, the crowd out there. And, and I, I believe they'll be supporting me. I have no idea who's gonna win, but I can't wait to call it. I will end him right in the center of the octagon. It's gonna be on my home turf out there in Mexico, and I'm gonna get the job done. In Mexico City, Mexico!